morning everybody hope you are well welcome back to another video so today is Sunday it is half ten in the morning the trailer he's got to stay in Caroline's house and we're getting loaded up ready for the ferry let's go on the trailer, happy days, ready to pick up, 3 o'clock in the morning, straight on the motorway, let's go. So after receiving a bit of a crash course uh, from Mr Whitman the other day about CV boots and CV joints in general, I have made my way back home and a new CV joint came for the drive shaft that we thought, no let me get the time, the drive shaft that's off the car no. Spare drive shaft that I bought, that I put in, that I nipped the kerb with at Prom Rally, knackered the CV joint, I went into my shed to get another CV joint off another drive shaft, found that it wasn't the right size, which was slightly different. I ordered a new CV joint, I've got home, and I've just managed to get it fitted. So this drive shaft's done about 200 miles. Um, this is the company that I've bought it from, JR Drive Shafts. Um, I have ordered a new drive shaft off these guys and it is now in the car. So I've got this one made up as a spare now. So this one, I've uh, just clicked it on there, so that's all nice. And I'm just about to tighten up these little uh, clip things and uh, keeps it all, all the grease in there, so happy days. I've just got a bit of perseverance with these little things there's a spring clip in there that you've got to you know make sure you get in right and then I didn't have a copper mallet so I just used a bit of wood and smacked the end on anyway it's gone in nice used a little uh, used a little screwdriver just to help out get the little needle circlip thing in there so tighten that up tighten that up she goes in the van Good morning everybody, it's uh, 10 to 3 in the morning, have to be a bit quiet because the neighbours are about. Um, but we're about to set off, go and pick Rhonda up and uh, make our way to the ferry. Stretch my legs. Oh, so uh, got about 40 minutes to go till we get to Oban. Uh, trailer's pulled really nice all the way. Happy day. Bit of an issue with the lights this morning though. Not happy about that. So come to load, come to load the van up, 
this morning, we'll put the trailer on the van at Steve and Caroline's. So after that escapade of fixing it, fixing the lights about three hours the other day, I uh, had to do some uh, funny manoeuvres to get into Steve and Caroline's, like sharp manoeuvres to get into a, their drive. Must have pulled the cable out of the plug. So the trailer lights on the left hand side don't work now, which is really annoying me. So I had to come up and just do it because you know, you've know you only got one ferry crossing at 12 o'clock, haven't you? So I was trying to fix it and I did take the plug apart. So I just thought, well, I'll put the wires back in, but then the screws inside there are rusty as hell. So I need a new plug, really. I'm really annoying myself because there was one on a shelf and I should have bought it for like six quid before I came and just swapped it when I did the trailer lights. But anyway, here's what it is. I'm sure I'll try and find one on the way up or retrofit some sort of wires anyway. So there we go, the sun's coming up just over the hills over there. Really nice drive up, up past Lock Loman. I'll just stretch my legs and then uh, we'll carry on. Happy days. Found a new plug. Thanks to these guys, B&H Auto Spares Open Limited. Got loads in stock. Jobs are good and right. Let's. Uh, we've got a bit of time to get us fitted now. Well, I think I've uh, just managed to black my way onto the earlier ferry. The guys in the ticket office didn't seem very happy though, but uh, I'm just queued up next to a nice Mark II. Um, so yeah. Uh, it said stick it in lane number three, so I'm in lane three, but I don't know if that means I'm going. I don't know. I got me a ticket here, he took my number down. Job the good in. We'll try anyway. We have to wait, we have to wait, don't we? soon and uh, people are waiting in the campsite to get breakfast on so it's now 10 o'clock Monday morning on the way to the island let's go
lovely. Just been uh, doing a bit of wrecking with Katie this afternoon. Time is now half seven. Have a bit of tea with Phil, Joe, Steve and Kaz. I'm going to go do a bit more wrecking because try and get it done before a lot of people turn up for the rest of the week. So we are cracking on. So exciting stuff. Stages look amazing. All nicely newly tarmac. It's going to be a fast one. So guys, it's uh, going to be a bit quiet because it's now one in the morning. And um, we've just finished doing deck. Oh, recce for day one. So I'm falling down a ravine. Um, yeah, just finished doing recce for the first day. Um, very tired. A bit too tired towards the end, but uh, we've knocked out most of Friday night and most of Saturday. Um, done a few daytime runs as well. So what we will be doing in the daytime. Stages are very fast. There's new tarmac everywhere, and what used to be bumpy isn't bumpy anymore. So yeah, it's um, yeah, it's going to be good. Looking forward to it. Now that I've driven the stages in a car, you know, as opposed to a van like we did last time in 2019, it's uh, a lot more comforting feeling. And uh, yeah, yeah, speed your reactions up and speed your driving up on the run up to the rally, which is always helpful and uh, yeah, get acclimatised. So but right now, it is going to be bedtime and I'm having a lie-in in the morning. So I set off this morning at half two and it's now one o'clock in the morning the next day, next morning. So it's quite a few hours in it, 23 or 22 hours that I've been awake. Drove six hours plus all the recce in and stuff. So big thank you to Phil and Jill for hosting tea tonight in the uh, big motor home that they've bought, that they've uh, rented. So thank you very much for Jill on the uh, on the cooking and uh, Steve for giving me a hand quickly on unloading the car and stuff today so yeah it's all team effort isn't it so that's going to be it for tonight guys um, this is day one on Mull so we'll, uh, we'll end this one there and we will see you in the next episode um, if you want to support us click the subscribe button Find us on social media, Andy Wild Rallying. And um, if you do want to buy some flapjack, it's a wildbakery.co.uk. Gets delivered straight to your doorstep anywhere in the UK. Now, that guys, here's the advert. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go.